Hello and welcome to my Floss Tube channel. My name is Lizzie Fisher and this is episode 21 of my Floss Tube journey. Oh, it's been quite a couple of weeks. I've got lots and lots to show you. Um, just a quick thank you for my return viewers for coming to listen to me chatter, chatter, chatter about all things cross stitch and welcome to my channel if you're new um lovely to have you on board thank you for choosing to spend some time with us for those of you that have been here before you'll see i'm in a new location there were some comments at the um retreat i went to a couple of weekends ago about how um, i'm always sat in the shade so hopefully this might be a better position also you get to see my lovely moo cow that was my birthday present from my husband um this duck i use sometimes as an oort catcher oort catcher oort bin um it's like a it's very dusty <laughs> um it's a jam a jam pot and i keep my oats in it so it's a little duck we um long story short ducks were a theme of our wedding in a very bizarre way there we go um and then you can just see the edge of my a uh, caterpillar cross stitch, I can't remember what it was, a sal back in 2020, I can't remember what it's called. So today we've got um, some progress, I hope you'll see some progress. We've got starts and no finishes. I mean, this isn't a channel that you come to to see finishes. If you're new here and you like to see finishes, it, this isn't the place I'm afraid um, but you will see lots of starts and the odd bit of progress here and there. I'm going to get my book, my trusty book of notes so I know what I'm showing you and when. Um, okay so after we came home from the retreat and everybody was ringing that finish bell I thought I want to ring the finish bell at a retreat. And what better way to ring the finish bell than with AKGIT? Wouldn't that be brilliant? So I went all out. Here's where you last saw it, if I've got a picture of that. I went all out to do, I worked it out and I needed to do 600 stitches a day. Now given some hard days at uni, I can do 44 stitches a day if I'm lucky. 660 I think it was, um, was a bit of a push. But... For the first three or four days I did it and here's where I got to. Isn't she lovely? So I focused on this purple tree. Oh she's getting sunny now maybe I'll come back a bit more. Um, so yeah I focused on the purple tree and I've done all the purple trees. I need to do the black. Oh, no, obviously it's not supposed to be purple. I need to do the tree holder, the urn. Um, but I tell you what the pressure of having to stitch on something, didn't like it at all. It made me really down. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to continue with that way of stitching on this. I, I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy the colours um, and enjoy the decision making process of colouring in what I want when I want. So that's AKGIT by Modern Folk Embroidery. Stitching it one over one with um, Roxy Flosco Pride Pack, um, and I'm doing it on 28 count antique white with with a stain on it. Um, antique white Zweigart, some sort of even weave. Um, so that's that one. The next one I think I worked on, I might not have done it in this order, is um, the birdhouse sal that I was doing. I definitely didn't do it in this order. Oh yeah, I did. Yes, I did. Um, was the birdhouse sampler. So when you last saw it, it looked a bit like this. When it's finished, ha ha ha, it's going to look a bit like this. Uh, can you see that? Oopsie. I do like a little printout and put it on my bag so I know which bag's which. 
end of moments I haven't got very far let me just put this thread to the back so that um gosh 40 count without a light that's interesting and with fairly only just woken up eyes <laughs> I hope that's in the right place if not we can always move it can't we so um I did this last Sunday I think I worked on this bit um And the world changed for me, I'm sure I'll have some news on in a minute. So uh, it was just the blue house with half a red roof. It's got all the red roof, it's got a chimney, the windows are outlined, the doors outlined, and I've started on the post for that. I'm stitching it with the called four colours, but in CXC rather than um DMC, and I'm stitching it one over two on 40 count vintage country mocker. And I think that's going to be really, really nice. I might pick that up for the rest of the afternoon. We shall see. Because I'd like to get April finished in April. And April's running away with us now. So maybe, maybe I should make a pile of things I want to stitch on. That's kept in my lovely tea towel um, Highland Cow bag that I made from a tea towel that I got for my birthday. And I've got the lovely... Highland Cow Key Ring that Fiona gave me at the retreat that she got in her smalls exchange. Um, I think that was the first time I mentioned Fiona, Leslie. I hope you're keeping count. Leslie, my friend Leslie, keeps count of how much I mentioned Fiona. Fiona thinks it should be turned into a drinking game. I'm all here for drinking games this week. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, I need to look at my book because I don't really know what I'm awake. I've made a cup of tea and lost it already this morning, so... AKGIT, did I say that was by Modern Folk Embroidery? Bird Houses um, is by Jardin Privé. Okay, so the next one is my my comfort stitch. It's in, let me find out who it's by first, because I don't think I've told you when I've been telling you the other ones. It is by Amanda Butler. It's in issue... Oh, I used to tell you on the pages. Issue 400, September 23 of Cross Stitch Magazine. And it's going to look a bit like this. And um, I've made quite good progress because it used to look like this. If I can, I'll take a screenshot if I can't from um, the world of um, YouTube. And now it looks a bit like this. So I've got to do, I'm, I'm now doing the edge circles before I can start the solar flares. Is that what they're called? Sunbeams? You know, the these bits. They're not really solar flares, are they? They're, it's quite comical. But yeah, he's looking really good. He's been on a train. He's been to London. I'm calling it a he, but it's probably a she. I don't know. Not that it makes any difference to the delight of stitching it. Um, there is something to be said for one over one stitch, one over one, two over two on 14 count. It's quite relaxing at times. Um, and its portability is quite important as well. It's been stitched in the car on the school run. You name it, that's where that's getting stitched. And then I think my only other one that you've already seen Makes sound I've got loads of stars, but I think I've only got two. Um, is my nice fishy sal now. I remember I did take a photo of this one. I paused while I was watching on my phone and took a photo. So that looks like this. Um, this is where it was. I've spent a day of it. Um, now I've got three stars. Um, I spent a day, sort of school hours, on it on was that Thursday, I think. I'm stitching this with Natalia from crafting with Natalia. Oh my gosh, when you step away from it, it does look 3D, doesn't it? And I just spent a day, um, yeah, so doing the, the fill in between the two fishes. So crafting with Natalia and I have a little sow called a nice fishy sow. Um, someone else is stitching this with us and I'm afraid I've forgotten your name. Um, and oh, I just love it. I'm It came as a kit from Luca S and um, 
Let me see if I can find digital rendering easily. Show you what it's going to look like. It doesn't tell you who the artist is. It's going to look like that. So I've done this fish and started this fish. And I've worked over to the edge. So it's not going to be massive. It came as a kit with 16 count, but I'm doing it on 25 count, easy grid, one over one. Because I just, I just love the way when you reduce it to 25 count, it looks way more real. I mean, I've seen Natalia, she's doing on 16 count, it still looks real. Don't get me wrong. They're very clever with their shading. Um, so it just looks photo-esque, doesn't it? I will continue to work on that. Working on this is an interesting one because I have to sit at the dining table because the pattern, let me unfold. This is just a third, uh, half of the pattern. So I sit at the dining table and um, cover the dining table up basically with the pattern and sort of stitch on it there. So it has to go away at the end of the night so we can eat dinner. So I think the odd day where I've got nothing to do all day, which will happen this week, I should explain, um, we'll get some more progress on that. That's our nice fishy sow. <clears throat> and that lives in my canny little fox. This is my first canny fox. Canny little fox, little canny fox, canny fox. Um, sort of home case she calls it and it's got the threads they're lucares so they're all wrapped up there the pattern lives in this pocket obviously my stitching lives there my needle minder when I'm not haven't got it in its hoop is just there yeah handy 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 and I normally have a highlighter pen in the pen pocket but I've obviously not put it away so I need to go and find it So I think, I've lost my book, but I think that's all the things I actually have put here on the table. I think that's all the things that you've seen before that I've worked on. Now then, three new starts. Just trying to think what order I did them in. Okay, so I started this one first. And this one is... Um, I had a call with my friends Leslie and Fiona, we had a Zoom, and I was stitching on Solar Smile, and then I decided to kit this up. Now you're all thinking, Lizzie, that is a kit. It's a Bot Bothy Threads kit, Ladybird in the Meadow. Um, and I think I may have shown this before and said how much I love the colours of the sky and how you get that luminescence. I'm tempted to put some sparkle in there, if I can find a very fine sparkly filament. Um, but I probably won't because I'm enjoying stitching it as it is. So that's a Bothy Threads kit now. I just said that oh, I kitted it up. What I mean by that is I took the threads off their cardboard thread holder and labelled up the symbols and put it onto the plastic. I got these from Amazon, I believe. Plastic thread holders. So it's a bit... I'm not a fan of the cardboard because sometimes I get quite strong and rip them. Um, and then all your threads good, and you don't know where they live so I've put them on here and I got that ready and then I started it on Sunday and then I had to put it down for a few days because I was um we had a horrible shock in the family and I was borderline upset borderline well very very upset and very angry um, and I didn't want to stitch on anything that would remind me of the, this time so you'll see a new start for that in a minute um, but then I picked it up again night before last. Here's my progress. So I've got a bit of sky coloured in. Coloured in, stitched in. It's about 500 stitches maybe. And again, I'm doing the whole reduce it down. So there's another piece of that, one over one, 25 count easy grid. This is Vigart easy grid. Um, because I think with full coverage, it just helps. It just helps with the counting and the jumping around if you want to jump around. So that's where I'm at with that. 
I can't wait to get down into all these colours. Can you see? I mean, I'll probably get down there and say, oh, this is way too much colour changing on a map. And never finish it, but we'll see. At least I'm honest, I know that's likely to happen. Then I think, did I start? Yes, the Deadly Aquarium Sal, which you've probably all seen on, um, oh no, I've lost the magnet. Oh boys, where's that gone? I need to find it to the dogs. Remind me at the end, everybody, I need to find a magnet. It's not a good advert for a needle minder, is it? Ooh. Let's see if it's in its pouch. Never had that problem before. I think it's probably because I picked everything up in a huge heap to bring over because I'm in a different place. Sit up straight, Lizzie, then people can see your head. Um, right. Okay, so Deadly Aquarium Sal by Lola Crow. Lola Crows. This is the release so far. And this is where I've got to. I'm stitching this on a bit, a bit of, and I've kept a piece of paper so I can remember. It's um, 18 count, 18 count Ada by Chromatic Alchemy called Thistle Make Me Happy. And I think it's brilliant for an aquarium. Last night I was working up here, then I stopped to have my dinner and then my back went and I had to retire from stitching for the night, which was a bit of a disappointment. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. My needle minder is by Laura at Gosling Clay. I thought it would look perfect. I mean, somebody asked us to make one for this sal and she made a few, so I stacked one up for me and sent one to Natalia as well. You see, I didn't realise when I ordered them. I hope yours has one too. Mine's got a little a raised octopus on it. No. Jellyfish. It's a jellyfish. I'm a little fishy. It's cool. So that's where I'm at. That needs some more work. I've got six weeks to do the like tank, the aquarium tank. Um, so hopefully in six weeks time, I'll be ready and caught up and ready to go for the next couple of parts. And then I'll probably just get sidetracked and stitch on something else. That's what normally happens when I'm doing a sell. And then the last start I had, um, so yeah, this thing happened in the family and made me very angry um, and quite upset and um, I didn't want to stitch on anything normal, but after the first night of not stitching on anything I found I needed to stitch to be able to control my emotions. Um, so I looked up some, basically, cross stitch um patterns on etsy with profanities in them and um i'm stitching this if i no i will i'll i'll um pixelate the, the swear word it's by somebody on etsy and i'll put that across the bottom it's called baron and this is as far as i've got It says, behold, the field in which I grow my, and then it's going to say, lay thine eyes upon it, cast thine eyes upon it, and see that it lies barren. So that's going to come down here. And then it's got some beautiful irises, which happens to be my mum's favourite flower. So yeah, that's that. Um, it's actually quite good for stitching on during work teams calls, um, because it's on 16 count. So I got Ada in the called for DMC, um, but stitching it on Ada means it's quite handy to just sit and stitch and it's quite blocky colours as well. That's always useful for a Zoom call. 
So plans. My plans are. <sighs> a little bit more on Deadly Aquarium and the Birdhouse Sal. And I need to think of a something for the Big Stitch 24 Retreat giveaway. They've done a theme of summer, not giveaway, you know, Smalls Exchange, that's what it's called. Um, they've got a theme of summer. So I was looking at um, this, which is from the box of supplies that Fiona's Fiona, friend of a friend of an auntie, auntie of a friend of a friend, um, who died. I think this was in there. Um, it's a sort of like a giveaway from Cross Stitching Magazine. And oh, I can't show you the charts. Oh, that's a shame. It was in the magazine. I'm sure I probably can. But there are some very summery flower heads. Or um, like this wreath, maybe. Or like this lily. That's quite a nice one with a sort of stained glass effect behind it. Cover up my face, it might focus. So I might do one of those and turn it into something. We shall see, that's an option. Um, I would stitch one of the sunflower ones, but I'm not a fan of stitching things twice. And the reason that this lives in my house, not Fiona's, is because I'm going to stitch the sunflower ones. So, um, yeah. I ought to do that at some point. There's a beautiful orchid. Is that on there? Like, can I show you that? I like orchids, but they don't live well in my house. I'll probably overwater them. Can you see? Is it going to focus? See my lovely fingernails. Just there. That's the orchid. Right. So that's the plan. I might start one of those. And yeah, I don't like to make plans if I'm honest because I always change them. I feel I have to do stuff and then I don't like doing it. Um, haul. I went to the charity shop again and found this cute little thing. Little dragon hatching out of its egg. It's a card kit, I believe. I haven't opened it, but um. No, it can't be. No, it's not. It's just the Ada and the floss. Not bad. They had a Bothy Threads kit. A birth sampler one, the farmyard one. I don't know if you've seen it. It was only £5. And I was like, mm, that's really good value. But I have no reason to stitch it. So I left it there for someone else. I felt very, uh, what's the word, generous doing that. I thought I'm such a nice person leaving it there for someone else because I really wanted to buy it just so I'd had it. But you know, it's a bit tragic, isn't it? Um, other bits and pieces of what I've been buying are. Um, so it's a bit crinkle, crinkle. I ordered three packs of my favourite pony number 26 needles. They're the blue headed ones. I've tried. Um, stitch with some generic, I think they're 26, but they're, they're, they're nowhere near as nice as these. I just got a couple of tubes of them from Amazon. They're quite cheap. Um, and it is literally like you're driving a, a poker through your fabric. It's not nice. So I've ordered some pony ones. I'm very happy. Then my order from Evertote, my Roxy Floss order. Bear with me, I'm going to pause you while I make lots of noise. And if I've pressed the right button, you've come back. Or I've come back, you didn't go anywhere. Neither did I, to be fair. Um, so, my friend Fiona has finished Distal Fink, which is a modern folk embroidery pattern. And she did it in the same colourway that um, Caroline, Caroline from Evertote did. And used these colours, which are Wisteria and Iris. They're Roxy Floss Co. And they're just beautiful. So, of course, I had to do the same. So I bought those. 
I thought I ordered two irises, but then I checked and didn't. I don't need, I, I ordered them in a, I need that, I need that now, let's buy it. So um, I've only got one, so that's going to make it a bit different maybe. And then I've got also ordered one of afternoon tea, which is this lovely purpley pinky colour. And I bought the, what's this called? Shades of the Wiz pack. Um, which are these lovely greens. And I think I might do Distal Think twice. Once in purple and once in these. And then I can do it in blues, I can do it any colour. I can just keep stitching Distal Think till I'm, having just said I don't stitch things twice, so I'm not going to do the sunflowers. I would stitch that twice because it's going to look fab in these colours, but I really want it in these colours. Um, as you see, I have a thing about purple. So that was my Evertote order. I was very restrained. That's all I bought. Because, um, you know, really, if you're paying for shipping from Canada, you might as well make it worth your while. But I was very good. Then I ordered from Threads for You. Oh, that's that's part of my plans, isn't it? So um, I was going to start on my friend Danny's birthday, the, oh, what's that called? Bear with me. Hi. I had to go look for my tablet, which was right beside me on the sofa here. Um, so on 15th, I was going to start um, the Pixel Dragon Adventure Sal by Flossy Fox Shop, Andrea Betts, which looks a bit like this. Um, but unfortunately I was in my pit of despair and worry so I didn't want to start it then. Um, it has the most amazing colours in it. Let me see if I can find them without making too much noise. Um, look at all those. And um, I'm going to be doing it on this piece of uh, stitchy ferret fabric in something space in, pastel space invaders I think it's called um, but I had a few threads missing from this and also those biscorn loops that I'm going to stitch eventually so I did a quick threads for you order from the threads for you lady they came literally the day after the day after the day after I placed the order very very quick service um, very impressed with that. So yeah, Threads for You. She's got a website. Look it up if you need DMC because they're only 80p each. Bargain. Absolute bargain compared to the thieving whatnots that are the place, the big superstore craft shop place. Okay. And then I do have another plan because the Round Robin, first most magnificent Ink Circles Round Robin UK edition um, that I'm doing with Ros Clark, Claire, Kath and me. Um, I have got Claire's, yes it is Claire's, um, pattern round and we are going to be stitching for Claire on arranging sewing kit. Sorry about the glare. So um, this is stitched on ooh, 32, 28, 32, not sure. Even weave. Um, she's done that quarter. So I don't know whether to be going up or across. I'm going to flip a coin at some point and start. Um, Claire, would you mind if I, if you're watching, would you mind if I... Um, serge the edges on my serger because I've got to get it out to do this piece of fabric from the um, stitchy ferret so I could do this as well because it's fraying a bit and once it's been around four of us I'd, I'd, mm, yes let me know or I'll text you and ask you um, so I'm excited to do that so I'll try and get that done and I think we're doing it let's have a look DM, ferret to DMC fabric is 28 count even weave pearl from lakeside needlework and we're doing it two over two. Yeah. It's going to be fab. If anybody knows in the pattern what this is, these 
this square thick these squares down the side what it might be can you let me know because my mum and I couldn't work it out the other day so yeah that's exciting to get a go on that um, and that it really is my plans because yeah so I've got a week off I say a week off I was supposed to be going to Scotland tomorrow but I've cancelled that um, money family what have you and I'm okay with not going um, the husband's taking the week off work and he was going to go and see his family but now he's staying here because I'm here so we're going to work in the garden if it's fine but I'm hoping the weather will stay a bit rubbish so that I can sit and stitch all week which would be nice we're going to go to Ikea at some point um, but I don't think I need much from Ikea unless they've got some whizzy storage solution that makes my house three times bigger um, I do need to do some housework today because I don't want to do it next week um, yeah so to round up I've got loads of progress done I think really in the last two weeks and let's hope I keep that pace up for the next two weeks have a lovely fortnight people be nice be kind be truthful and be true to yourself and the rest will follow enjoy your stitching take care bye bye